Hey, I'm Darcy, and welcome to Screencasts Online. A few years ago, we covered today's app, which is Forklift by Binary Knights. Forklift is a quick and effective replacement for Finder on the Mac. It's up to generation 4 and has some new features and a new user interface we'd like to show off. I think you'll find it surpasses Finder in many ways, especially for power users. Forklift can be purchased outright from their website, which is linked below. It's also a part of Setapp, so if you have a subscription, you'll already have full access to the app. Now let's get to it. When Forklift is open for the first time, you're presented with four different settings to choose from. The first is synchronizing favorites with iCloud. I'll cover favorites with you shortly, but turn this on so that if you're using Forklift across multiple Macs, you'll get the same experience. Next is import favorites from Forklift 3. Keep this turned on if you're upgrading from the previous version. And I recommend keeping check for updates turned on so that it's automatically done in the background for you. You can also set a certain theme for the interface straight out of the gate. There's a few to choose from, such as the default look, or sand which is a bit lighter. I'll keep it set to forklift for now and click Start Using Forklift at the bottom right. While using Forklift, you can receive notifications from time to time, such as when syncing. I'll turn this on. The first and most obvious feature of Forklift is that you can see effectively two Finder windows on the same screen. We'll be going deep into how these two windows interact with each other and all the features involved. But I first want to show you, just with this alone, how much more convenient it is than using the Finder. There are a couple of ways to achieve the same thing in Finder, but I just don't find them as intuitive. The first way is that I can create a second tab within the same Finder window. I'll right click over here and open a new tab. So in the first place, I can't see the contents of both folders at the same time. I have to switch between them. Secondly, moving files or folders between these two tabs isn't necessarily seamless. I'm holding a folder over this tab and it's taking a moment for it to actually select, so I can then drop it in this other tab. Another option is I can have two separate windows. I'll click and drag on this tab to do just that. Now I'll resize them, but already I'm doing a bit of work here to try and just get two windows sitting next to each other. If I do want them to fit side by side, I can use split view. So I'll put one on the right hand side and the other on the left hand side. But the problem now is that they've gone full screen. They're taking up all of my real estate. Really don't need to take up that much room. Back over to forklift and it's already looking simple and clean. So let me show it off. Of course we have two folders open and we can tell which one is selected by the orange bar at the top. That's the one that we're interacting with right now. We can change that just by clicking on the other folder in the other area. And as we enter folders, we can see a path bar at the very top indicating where we are in the directory. We can use tabs in Forklift as well. Just press Command T just like in Finder to open a new tab in our selected window. You'll see exactly which folder is open in the tab itself. That's just a quick preview of 